let's play Eric the Unready. Uh, continuing from last time, uh, I lost, so you get to see the losing dialogue. Congratulations, Cecil! Which of these fabulous prizes would you like? Concern me any doubt, your French opponent says. Naturellement! I will select the routine of the great Jerry Lewis! And the host turns to you and says, And for you, Sir Eric, the consolation prize. So sorry, I hope you'll come back and try again soon. A squat, muscle-bound man with an executioner hood comes in and puts you on the wheel of torture for five minutes that are better left undescribed. Then you are unceremoniously booted out of the tower, and you find yourself once again in the company of sleeping attack turtles. Okay, well, we lost. Uh, and now we're gonna do it for reals. Um, what number am I on anyways? So is this, is this already a 20? Let's play Eric the Unready, part 20. So, let's unlock the door, play one more time, win, and then I'll end this chapter. Alright. Unlock door. Step inside. And this time we can finish our entering dialogue. So, same thing as before. Answer correctly, we got this too. Uh, a fourth prize. The world's largest barrel of gunpowder. It's lifetime supply, great for practical jokers and serious insurrectionists, insurrectionists alike. And finally, we have a set of Ginsu knives, because apparently there's a regulation that says we have to. Thank you, Don. Are we all ready? Okay, Eric, you go first. So, if you're curious, to hear me reading all that dialogue for some reason and get, like, or looking at the videos out of order. I read that in the last section and got cut off. Oh shoot, not the same categories as last time. Alright, let's try this again. Geography. Largest body of water, I don't know, so I'm gonna guess the inner sea. Yay. Ah, uh, geography. I have to do it quickly because otherwise he'll guess it. Rim Mountains. Yeah. Uh, so try to do some reading for yourself in case I run don't. Largest wooded area in the Enchanted Forest until yesterday. Oh, good. Uh, uh, the hole in the center of Taurus was caused by a giant meteor. Large underground. Center punch of the gods. Weapons beginning with B. Yeah. The device used to hurl large missiles is a uh, ballista. Sniffs again. The barb dart used in bullfights is, uh... You know, this could sound like it's actually educational. Uh, I'm learning something. Uh, Banderilla. Banderilla. Someone tell me if that's, if that's true or not. <laughs> Mythology. Uh, Kawabanga was great. Very, you can see that one we had before. Uh, a sturdy, inexpensive jackknife is, uh, Barlow. Yeah. Uh, and weapon with B. Cannon that hurls large stones is a bird. Yes. Alright, now. I think we should be able to win now. Uh, sound made of God's go bowling. Divine right of kings. Was it sacred left jab? Yes. Uh, favorite soap opera, or Long Life to Live. Potpourri, uh, Sis Boom Ba, and Sheep Exploding. Uh, Queen Morgana's favorite piece of music, Barbara Seville. Garpathian Swallow, the one where I remember the, the old geezers with their greaves from the beginning. Uh, ever I would cleave him. Wow, we kicked ass. Uh, congratulations, Eric! Which of our fabulous prizes would you like? I'll take the crescent wrench, he stammered nervously. The crescent wrench it is, as your host. Show him how to use it, Don. Sure thing, Alex. He walks over to the prize area, picks up the wrench. Let's say you want to loosen the bracket that's holding this large torch to the wall. You give it a twist like this, he yanks up the bracket, and the torch falls into the world's largest barrel of gunpowder. Run away! Run away! Ah, uh, so you might notice that, that pattern here. Pandemonium breaks out as everyone races for the exits. You snatch up the wrench and are just clearing the door when you hear a low rumble followed by a very large boom. Finding oneself in free fall at several thousand feet can sometimes be disconcerting. 
what with the unfamiliar surroundings and the uncertain prospects of the immediate future, one tends to hold on to the familiar, which is exactly what you do when your backpack suddenly appears in the air next to you. Grabbing onto the pack seems to slow your descent as you come in for a landing over the pavilions of a fairground. You land on the roof of one of the large tents and bounce off the canvas like it was a huge trampoline. When you finally hit the ground, the impact knocks you out cold. Black screen. Meanwhile, ooh, cutscene. And then I'll stop, and that'll be all. I think I'll have time for it, too. How nice to see you again, Loriel! I hope these past few days in the dungeon haven't discomforted you! It will take a lot more than bad food and a few rats to scare me, you evil hag! You better just kill me now before Sir Eric arrives and destroys you! And then my witch voice again. Two. One. There. Oh, we're not going to kill you, my dear! You're far too valuable for that! But I do have a little surprise for you! You're getting married! It'll be a simple wedding, just enough to ensure that you will never be allowed to rule the kingdom. Oh, how sweet. Sniff, sniff. You're insane! I will never consent to be wed! But you will consent to be completely blurry. Your consent won't be required, dear. The minister is a friend of mine. He's not exactly a stickler for formalities. The groom is quite a pleasant fellow, too. I'm sure you'll even learn to love him, if you could ever learn not to throw up in his presence. God! Take L'Oreal to see our visitor. I'm sure she'd like to spend some quality time with her future husband. What's your sign, sweet thing? <laughs> I bet you've never had a real man. Take down that for sale sign, girl. You've found a buyer. How about it, baby? Do you want to do the wild thing? <laughs> oh, lovably creepy. Hurry, Sir Eric. Hurry! Alright, we're at the carnival entrance. Uh, gaily dressed crowds of people stream past you into a meadow decorated with banners and pavilions. It is the St. Barkin's Day Fair, renowned across Taurus as the liveliest festival in the land. The entrance to the fair is to the north, and the road winds up into the hills to the west. A herald stands nearby reading a proclamation from a scroll you see in newspaper here. Newspaper here. Next time we shall read that newspaper and have some fun at the carnival. But, until then, I bid you adieu, be patient, and wait. Bye-bye.